Hi, everybody. Welcome to About 30 Minutes, the podcast all about the great stuff to do, see, and experience right here in Tuscarawas County. Today, we've got a guest from uh, a business that's been around. We were talking before the show got started here. As long as I can remember, Ernie's Bicycle, we used to have Adam from Ernie's. How are you doing today? Good, good. Thanks for having me. Oh, absolutely. What's uh, Now, you told me before we got started there, you've been with them since... 2005. 2005. Okay. Um, are you, I mean, are you a regular bike rider? I, I am. Uh, I started off riding BMX bikes, you know, uh -huh. skate parks, going around Ohio and other states and kind of grew out of that. started riding road bikes and mountain bikes and mm -hmm. kind of do a little bit of everything. How often, uh, how often do you go, do you get out? I'd say probably three times a week. Okay. Are you year round? Because I know that there's some people that are crazy enough. I've seen people out on bikes in the yeah. middle of the winter. I'm like, ooh, okay. But usually once it gets in the 30s, I'm done. Okay. <laughs> so I'm not a winter rider. <laughs> All right. Um, you know, it's it's interesting. I was thinking about this when when they, uh, when they I received word that we were going to be uh, talking uh, to you. I started thinking about the whole concept of uh, bike riding. And, you know, being a kid of the uh, 80s, which I was um, – you know, that was the thing. I mean, when you were a kid, that was like the biggest thing to get for Christmas was your first bike. Yep. And that bike was your companion, I mean, through your entire childhood. And I mean, we think of that, we have that image in our brains um, from movies like, you know, E.T. and the Goonies and stuff like that of kids out riding <laughs> bikes. Sure. And then it seemed like that kind of went away for a while. Do you think, and then I was kind of thinking about this, do you think the pandemic had kind of an effect on bike riding? It did, like, big, big okay. time. Okay, all right. Well, t tell me a little bit about that. I mean, um, you, obviously you were you were at Ernie's yes. during that time. Um, and we stayed open, you know, the whole time. Mm -hmm. um, but there was definitely a bike boom. And everybody started buying bikes, getting their old ones fixed, mm -hmm. getting out riding the trails so it got a lot more people outside yeah it seems like today you see more uh packs of kids you know riding bikes like they used to and it seemed like for a while that kind of that kind of went away um but there's also other modes of transportation out there what else does ernie's carry i mean I'm, clearly we have you know it's bicycles but do you guys deal in you know uh, scooters and the electric bikes and all that kind yes, of stuff. We you do. do those too? Yep. Okay. Electric bikes, scooters, skateboards. Oh, really? Yep. Oh, okay. All right. And, and then, you know, regular bikes and a little bit of everything. Um, what's the audience like on all of those different things? I mean, do you see certain age groups gravitating towards certain modes of transportation? Yes. Okay. Uh, mountain bikes have been really popular. Mm -hmm. So that and e-bikes just keeps growing. Yeah. Um, but skateboards and BMX kind of comes in waves, you know, every couple of years, it just, it builds up then it slows down and builds up. Right. So, I mean, people are still riding BMX bikes and that's skateboarding great. and I've never, and it's nice to have a local skate park. Oh yeah. Oh, that's definitely a big, yeah. I know I can remember when that, and again, here's me being the old man. I can remember when that went in. I mean, and the big push there was from the youth community to get yes the skate park. Now, do you yourself, do you skateboard? I rode BMX, yes, but I do not skateboard. You do not skateboard? No. Okay, yeah, me neither. I've, uh, <laughs> I think I tried uh, a couple of times, and I realized that, uh, no, that's that's not going to work for me. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's a different challenge. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Now, do you does Ernie's offer courses in this kind of stuff? Can, can I go to Ernie's and learn how to ride or at least – find some some uh like-minded folks um so that we do a lot of group rides and that okay. helps people get out you know r learn the trails um we have mountain bike rides towpath rides night rides mm -hmm. and then we also offer maintenance classes to work on your oh, own bike really? okay uh through the winter uh -huh. so that helps a lot too yeah that's oh, wow i didn't i didn't realize that you had the uh repair classes okay so most most common problem that people are going to run into uh, flat tires Absolutely. for sure. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and I can tell you how many, I've tried a couple of times to, uh, I know I've had flats, uh, when I was still riding bike and that kind of stuff. And it was just like, I, is it as hard as, I, as I'm making it out to be? Um, it's not too bad once you do it a couple of times, but everybody sees, you know, the chain and the gears and the yeah. derailers and they're like, no thanks. <laughs> but we do offer change of tube Tuesday. So it's <laughs> okay. every Tuesday at six. If you want to learn how to change a flat, you can stop in. And 
Are you kidding? We'll teach me? you. That is amazing. <laughs> That's great. Now we were we were also talking earlier. Ernie's has three locations. Correct. So now, do you are you working? Okay, and let's mention those real quickly. They are our Maslin shop, right? Uh, North Canton off of Portage, right? And then the New Philly store. The New Philly. And you said that the New Philly store has been there since uh, 91. 91, 1991. Okay. All right. Um, where was I going to go with this? Oh, we were. Oh, uh, with um, with the the repair classes and that kind of thing, um, it can be very intimidating. I mean, yes. to to try and you know fix your own bicycle, uh, but um, what obviously you're going to do flats and stuff like that. Do you guys teach about like chain repair and that kind we of thing do. too? So okay. we kind of split the groups up. Mm -hmm. And we have a general class and then an advanced class. Oh, okay. So people that just want to learn how to adjust their shifting and brakes and fix a flat, we have, we offer the general. And then if you want to get more advanced, you know, overhauling wheels and stuff like that, oh you, you do the advanced class. Yeah, yeah. Is there any such thing as um, like a, uh, what do I want to say, like a defunct model of bicycle? Because I can recall as a kid, again, an 80s kid, you when you went from when you graduated from BMX, you went to the classic ten speed with the with the bent handlebars. Yes. Anybody still do those? I mean, can you still get those new, or is that kind of a done thing? Or that typical style, they're pretty much gone. But you can okay. still buy a road bike okay. with the drop bars, all right, and stuff like that. But I never understood the idea behind the. Everybody wanted a racing bike back then. <laughs> <laughs> and now they're, everybody's, you know, more common hybrids, dual sports. Yeah. There's just a bunch of different varieties of bikes now. I know one of the last bicycles that I purchased was uh, a mountain bike. And I was really surprised at how much fun it was to get out there on the trails. Yes. Um, where do you have particular paths around here that you recommend? or um, For mountain bike, Camp Tussazor. Off of oh, okay. Boy Scout yeah. Road. Yep. They just keep adding and adding. And uh, there's you get a lot. the fellas out there with the, uh, what is it, Tyler? The the dirt line. Yeah, the dirt okay. line. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. So there's, that place just keeps growing every year. Yeah. And it's crazy what they've done with it so far. It's an, and it's a really a lot of fun. Yeah. I'm, I've always been, uh, I was impressed. We did, uh, we did some work with uh, uh, the dirt line and uh, we went out and we got some of the kids on the trail. And, you know, some of these kids, you know, whipping up and down through those trails, you know, on bicycles. I'm like, man, I mean, I was thoroughly impressed. Oh, yeah. So now um, for a beginner, what would you recommend as far as mountain biking goes? I mean, or. or so what's nice about Texas or on the other side of the road, that's called the East Side Trails. Uh -huh. They're more beginner friendly. OK. It's not as much up and down climbing. Right. And they, it's just a couple short loops that are really fun and then there's also the towpath that a lot of people ride okay um they uh I'm, I'm trying to think of some of the other things that uh the other trends in bicycles that i've seen come and go um i want to get to e-bikes but i want to hold on to that for just a second uh i know i know that we've got a lot of younger kids that are doing uh scooters yes still still popular i yeah, mean i know yeah. that was kind of an early 2000s thing where that really seemed to take off they and... definitely advanced so they're a lot nicer heavier duty Okay. Kids are, I mean, it's still a trend. People are, kids are still riding them. All right. Um, how difficult is that? I've never, I've never ridden one before to, to be perfectly uh, honest. And where do you go? I mean, is that just kind of an around, is that yeah, around town? It's just another park. mode of transportation type thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Uh, how about inline skates? Does we, anybody do that anymore? <laughs> I think people still do, but it, it has definitely dropped off. Yeah. Yeah. That was another uh, we, one of those We get great... a couple calls here and there. Really? Looking for, you know, wheels and bearings. But yeah. I think it's all online for wow. roller skates pretty much. Um, What's uh, – okay, so – you're general manager in the store, right? Or store manager? Yeah, store manager. Yes. What is one of the, do you have any like really good, craziest thing you've ever had somebody bring in or call and ask about? <laughs> the list is pretty long. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, uh, thrill me, man. Entertain me. Give me something good here. Um, we, a little bit of everything. I mean, gas powered kits, people are putting on bikes and uh -huh. just a, it's hard to explain. Are they snow? Okay, now my father, who is in his 80s, okay, he has uh, he has restored, I believe, two what were called wizard bikes 
that okay. Schwinn did. Have you ever I've seen, seen this? one? Yes, you've seen one. Yes. Okay, and that was the big thing. I mean, to get a little gas powered yeah motor that you would put on your bike, and people are still doing that. Um, I mean, it's like, it's like there's a modern twist on it. There's there's a modern kit that you can. I think people are buying them off eBay and suiting them up on their bikes and. Wow. <laughs> it's, wow, wow, wow. You kind of see a few of them zipping around town. So yeah. it's um, any uh oh, I'm trying to think of some of the other ones that I've I've heard about people that anybody ever do the uni, uh, unicycles? Oh uh, yeah, we still sell unicycles. You sell them? We sell them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, I gotta ask, have you done it? I've tried. <laughs> but I cannot ride one. <laughs> no, I was uh, that's a whole separate set of skills, right? But there. people are still buying them and People still know how to ride them. And that is amazing. That is absolutely yeah, amazing. So to they're, me. they're in the store. <laughs> so wow, 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 wow. Um, okay, so let's let's get into uh, e-bikes. Yes. For the for the folks at home who may have no clue whatsoever, tell me a little bit about them. So what we carry is Trek and Electra. Okay. Are the brands? Mm -hmm. um, they're all pedal assist. Okay. So you have to pedal still. So you're still pedaling a bike like a you know normal. Mm -hmm. But there's different power levels that you can uh, go up to about 20 miles an hour. Okay. And that nice range on them. So there's other kits that are throttle and uh, pedal assist both. So if you do get tired, you can hit a throttle. Okay. <laughs> uh, do you have to license? You do not. Okay. No. All right. Because I remember, again, here's another here's another thing from the past. Um, mopeds. Mope, yeah. You know, everybody was, is that a thing anymore? I've seen a couple here and there. I don't think it's like it used to be. Yeah. I think e-bikes have definitely taken over most of that. Oh, I can imagine. But they're, it just keeps growing. And so if if you want to start off, if you're going to start off with an e-bike um, and you're a first timer, what's the best way to get into it? What's the best way to do it? Um, stop, in the, stop in a shop. Okay. Take them for a test ride. Mm -hmm. Compare a couple. You know, find one that fits you for your needs. Okay. But getting on one is the easiest way to do it. Just take it for a ride and see what you think. Is it equivalent to, is there a learning factor involved or is it kind of equivalent to just learning to ride a bicycle? Or it, it, if you can do one, you can do the other. Yeah, I guess you, if you can ride a normal bike, you can ride an e-bike. Okay. Yep. And very simple setups on them. Um, easy controls. Yeah. People learn very quickly. Okay. Um, are there, uh, okay, so how about uh, laws with e-bikes? Is there, and is it still, re is it still treated as a regular bicycle? Right now it is. There's, okay. there's four different classes though of e-bikes and that's okay. kind of depends on how fast they go, uh -huh. if they have a throttle or uh -huh. if they don't have a throttle. So there's going to be more regulations coming Okay. for the different types. I was, this is still relatively new. I mean, this is, I know I saw my first one last summer. There's a fellow that I work with uh, at my other job and he, he lives in Dover and he would ride his e-bike in the summertime to over here to Philly. Okay. So, I mean, you know, and I, I, I kind of, I never really got to talk a whole lot about it. We talked about charge and that kind of stuff okay. and, you know, distance uh, range, yeah, that kind of thing. But I didn't know if, okay, it, you know, if, if this applies to, uh, you know, do you have to stay on certain side of the road or do you have to, um, is a regulation to wear a helmet? It, it is not, it's not required. Okay. Uh, some places it is, but mm -hmm. Ohio, I believe it is not, but. It's definitely recommended. Okay. Uh, and then you just want to obey the regular traffic laws, you know, riding with traffic. Right. Same as a normal bike. Okay. Is there a, is there an age uh, limit? I mean, is it, is it, how, how young have you seen people, what's the youngest customer you've seen get in, in, uh, um, one of the bikes? Right now, I think mostly teenagers I've seen. Um, okay. But below that, I have not, not like, you know, kids hop yeah. on them, but definitely right. teenagers or getting e-bikes and commuting to school and sports. And that's cool. Uh, a little bit of everything. Very cool. Um, let's talk range. So if I were to make the investment, uh, you know, one charge for how long is it going to take? How long is it going to last? Uh, usually it takes three, four hours to charge the battery full. That's all. Yep. Oh, okay. And uh, range depends on what kind you have. Mm -hmm. They vary anywhere from 20 miles to 60 miles. Maybe a little more. Wow. So you can definitely 
get some decent rides on a charge. Yeah. And you said speeds are upward to about 20 miles an hour. Most of ours are all about 20 mile an hour. Okay. And then there's some that are about 28. Now, do you have, um, this is just opening up the floodgates here. I'm thinking, again, I'm thinking about when I was a kid, you know, all the different accessories that you could get for just a regular pedal bike. I can remember um, my brother and I each had uh, speedometers yep. on our bikes, which we just, I, looking back, it's like, <laughs> why but i mean it was cool at the time yeah and uh lights obviously now yeah. all these things are is this standard yeah on uh, a bike now yeah lights computers mm -hmm. bags uh phone holders oh I mean, of course yeah of course pumps repair yeah. kits you name it man man man, man. it just keeps growing yeah um what uh how about for uh little little kids um it's it's interesting. Just a few days ago, my uh, my folks were talking. I have an older brother, and they were talking to him, and they said, "Hey, we've got we're cleaning out the garage. We found your old tricycle, okay." And asked him if he still wanted it. Um, do you still see kids? You know, is there still an interest with little uh, kids yeah. riding riding trikes and things like yeah, that? Yeah, tricycles are still pretty popular. Okay, um, balance bikes have definitely kind of filled that gap. Balance bikes, so no cranks, no pedals. And the kids kind of just sit on the seat and they find their balance and it teaches them a lot quicker than something like a tricycle. I've <laughs> never heard of such a thing. I didn't know that. Wow. Okay. So they've been around for a few years. Okay. But they're starting to get more popular. All right. Wow. And that's one I'd never heard of. I know we also used to have, uh, there was, we always, we always call, refer to them as the, a, a gang uh, back in the day of adult tricyclists, yeah. mostly senior citizens. Yes. So um, still still an option there, too. Yeah. Still sell uh, adult trikes. Uh, we even sell electric adult trikes that are <laughs> catching on more and more. <laughs> You're kidding. Yeah. So okay. we uh, kind of custom those and put kits on them. And yeah, so they're just regular old trike with an electric. My gosh. It's just <laughs> it's just it's amazing to me. I guess there's. What it's coming down to is with the industry, there's no excuse to not get out there and ride. Yeah, there's, there's <laughs> I mean, definitely it, something for everyone. Yeah, it, it's it's one of those situations where I think, I know speaking for myself, it's a matter of finding the time. Yeah. I always enjoyed riding a bike. I never, I mean, I know that as a kid, once summer hit, that bike was out of the garage and it was, it stayed out of the garage all day, all, day, all <laughs> summer. I mean, it was, it was you were on it every day. Yeah. I mean, that's just, that's the way that it was. So, wow, that's really something. I had no idea that there was that much variety yeah, in riding. There's definitely these days. something for everyone. Yeah. Um, thinking of that, um, what kind of uh, events do you just off the top of your head, some events, some um, uh, opportunities that Ernie's has for local bikers? Yeah. What do we so have? we offer a lot of group rides, uh, some at each different, each one of our stores. Okay. Uh, we offer uh, mountain bike rides, mm -hmm. uh, night rides, road riding, you know, um, and then average cyclist rides on pretty much a few days a week. And then uh, we have a brew tour going on through the summer. <laughs> which, We're talking about that. I think that what a great idea that is. You would know? you ride, <laughs> ride first, then, okay. then you know, have a beer. Have a beer. <laughs> but uh, you can check them out on erniesbikeshop.com. Okay. And there's a list of all our events. Excellent. Excellent. Um, with uh, the night rides, um, is this uh, how, how big are your, how big are your groups when you're doing some of these really um, not just the night rides but any of them how how big of a group do you get it's pretty it's pretty decent range anywhere from you know six to to 15 usually mm -hmm. uh per group um and each store is different but maslin and philly both have night rides uh -huh. on the towpath wow that's that's really that's really cool i mean just things that again wouldn't think about <laughs> um so tell me a little bit about uh, your experiences um, with uh, with with Ernie's. I mean, now you've been there for quite a few years. Yes, you said yes. okay. So tell me about. It. I mean, what 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 got you started there, and what keeps you there? Um, I started in two thousand five, and mm -hmm. I was about yeah, just turned 16, 15 mm -hmm. and a half riding BMX bikes and going to skate parks and that kind of got me involved in working on my bike and mm -hmm. stuff like that and got offered a job one day and uh, kind of worked my way up and 
kind of been there ever since. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, it's a great place to work at. Uh, great staff. Everybody's, you know, really fun to work with. And it's just a great company. Is there, is there an Ernie? There is an Ernie. Have you met Ernie? I have. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a great guy. He's a, he mostly works out of our masculine shop. Okay. Um, him and his wife both work there. Uh, his son and daughter, Ernie Jr. and Molly. Uh, but yeah, they, they run a great, great shop. That's, it's, it's really, it's always amazing to see. It's one of these companies that... I know the sign, I know the logo, and it's one that I cannot think of a time when Ernie's wasn't around, yeah. you know? Um, now, did you, uh, you're from here originally. Yes, I'm from Philly. New Philadelphia, okay. And um, did you did you go to school? Uh, I mean, uh, post high school, did you yeah, go to college or anything? I did not. Like, you did not? Um, okay. Straight out of, I mean, straight out of high school, I've been working on bikes and wow uh kind of been there ever since <laughs> okay do you do you yourself have like a collection or anything like I that have quite a few okay um i since i rode bmx you know i uh -huh. kind of started collecting that a little bit uh -huh. and i probably have probably eight to ten bmx bikes old, older school you know yeah. uh then i have a road bike a gravel bike mountain bike a gravel and, bike that is another genre that's getting very popular. I've never heard of it in my life. Tell it's me about it. It's pretty much a road bike with wider tires. Okay. That you can take off road and still ride on the road long distance. And it just kind of gives you more options. Wow. Um, I just think I, I have the picture in my mind of the BMX bikes of, of uh, the eighties that I grew up with, with all of the, the padding and everything yeah, and all yeah. that. And that, the kind of stuff that, um, I just you, you've got me thinking of all the different bikes that like some of my friends rode. And I had I had one friend growing up who had this yellow bike that I, it, it just it looked like somebody had just cobbled it together from about four different bikes. And here's 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 one for, for you folks at home. A banana seat. Yep. Do they still make those? They do not. Uh, <laughs> you can, I can't you, imagine. You can, you can still get the seat, but not the bike. <laughs> oh my gosh! So that's just that's really something to me. Um, now you've uh, you said that you've got some bikes in your collection. Do you have a pride and joy? Is there one in particular that's like your favorite? Uh, it was the first nice BMX bike I ever got. Okay. Um, the brand was called Terrible One, and <laughs> it's a very low under you know underground. BMX company. Okay. Um, but I've had it since I was 16. I still have it. Wow. Um, do you still have your first bike? I do not. Okay. Did that one just get ridden to death? I yeah. Mean, did you, that, okay. that one bit the dust. That's how mine was. I mean, I rode, you know, I had my bicycle from, I don't know, probably second grade on and I used it to deliver newspapers with and all that yep. kind of stuff. And I mean, but I, I rode, I had to repaint it at one point in time because it was just in, it was just shot. Yeah. But I mean, we rode those things until they just fell apart. I mean, that they was do that. wear out. <laughs> so, um, so I've got to ask this too with, uh, with, with bicycling, uh, because I know it's, it's something we've all gone through. Have you ever taken a tumble and what was the best one you ever did? Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> I've taken quite a few. Okay. I've broken some bones. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think of the worst one. <laughs> uh, Having a chain break on you is Ooh. probably one of the worst, but flipping over the bars, oh, stitches, I, you know. I did that. <laughs> it's happened a few times. <laughs> I uh, I can recall, be, I was very young, and I had just learned how to ride a bike, and I was chasing my, my friend and I were chasing my older brother, and we went up uh, a hill, and as we came down the other side, my brother had gotten far, far ahead of us, and I, we were going downhill, I was going too fast, <laughs> I hit something that was in the road and I went over those handlebars and just, I used my face as a slide, just, <laughs> you know, and it still shows. So, but oh my gosh, that a little was, road rash. Yeah. A little bit. And, and you get, and you get scared. You yeah. know, you don't want to go back on again, yeah. but then, you know, you've got it. You got to learn to get over it. Build the courage back up. And so get back out there. Oh my gosh. Well, this is uh it's, it's really something to, to hear you tell me about all these different modes of trans transportation all the different versions of bicycles that people have out there now um it just keeps growing yeah it's it's crazy you never think you think they're done you know 
with a certain style and they come out with another and another and it just the industry just keeps growing that's great yep. that's great because not only is it mode of transportation but it's also the thing we all need a little bit of exercise yep you know and that's that's definitely a plus and hobbies and yeah uh, just gets people outside do you have people come through uh i mean have you ever seen some really crazy tricked out like custom custom bikes that people have done oh yeah here and there i mean everything's pretty much custom uh but uh yeah a little bit of everything i know i had a there was another kid that i grew up with that uh uh, early eighties when the Dukes of Hazard was possible, oh. what was popular. He, Oh my Lord. He had his bike all decked out like the general. Generally. <laughs> <laughs> I was just waiting for him to get the horn, you know, yeah. <laughs> and there used to be a, a company that that was their model that they came out with the generally. Oh, really? So it was all orange. <laughs> no. So, Cause the two big companies that I remember growing up, there was, you had Schwinn and then uh, Huffy, which I think was out of Ohio. Is it Huffy, was. Are they still around? They're still around. Uh, okay. They did get bought out. Okay. Uh, moved to a company called Pacific, but oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they're still a brand. Wow. Um, there's definitely been you know Haro uh -huh. was another big brand in the '90s and '80s. Uh, they're still around making BMX bikes. Yeah. Um, and Fit and Kink are kind of the new new brands that are replacing those. Wow. It's uh, it's really something. I'm. It, it's really good. It, it it does my heart good to see groups of kids out on bikes again. I oh, think for sure. Really fantastic. Um, so the one question that we ask, uh, of all of our, um, of all of our guests, you know, you're, you're from here, you're still living here. You're obviously liking it here. Yep. How do you personally, Adam live Tusk? Um, I live Tusk, uh, you know, working local, uh, getting out and enjoying the, the great, uh, environments that we have here in Tuscarawas County and, um, I mean, there's options and a lot of stuff to do for everyone. Yeah. You just it's just a look. It's just, yeah, just got to look. That's great place to be. Yes. Great place to uh, great place to be. Great place to ride. Yes, sir. So, all right. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming on today, Adam. Uh, again, this is give us a quick plug here. Ernie's Ernie's Bicycle Shop. Ernie's Bicycle Shop. Uh, do I do like Ernie's Bicycle Shop? Yeah. Give me, give me the whole <laughs> give me the whole spiel here. We'll put it out there. and Yeah. Uh, checks out on Facebook, uh, Instagram. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, our website, earningsbikeshop.com, and follow us on our, join our group rides. Um, check us out. And you guys are on, the new Philly address is you're on uh, Wabash and 4th? 4th Street, yep, okay. 4th and Wabash. Okay. Uh, right, right there across from the AAA. Yep, can't miss it. Yep. So, all right, Adam, thank you so much for coming hey, on with welcome. us today. Thanks for inviting me. Yep, this was this was really good. We could, believe me, I could go on <laughs> with the whole bikes thing and, you know, old man reminiscing. But, <laughs> for sure. All right. Well, hey, thank you so much for joining us, folks. Uh, hope you enjoyed the program. And again, make sure you tune in next time and see what's happening in about 30 minutes. Take care.